Hey guys, it's Best Way to Game here, and today I'm going to show you how to set the resolution to your Minecraft when you open it, and how to change your skin in the new Minecraft launcher. This is brand new. If you guys didn't know, um, Log.Zip did a tutorial on this a really long time ago um, for the pre-release of this, so let's get started. On the first page, when you open the up the launcher up, you have your little slider shows, and it tells you all the news. Um, you can you can go in here. You can change what version you're playing in, and all that. And you can click play, Mojang down here. And then over here you have your account. You can switch account or log in, log out, and you have your help over here. Now you can also click this X so that can hide, or you can have it open all the time. Now in the skins folder of this area, you can actually change your skin here. So I'm actually going to change my skin, I'm going to change it to the creeper, I'm going to click save. It's going to save for a few seconds, um, it should say it saved, if it didn't, it's fine. Um, over here, uh, so there you go, success, skin's been uploaded now, you can, all, you can drag, now this is cool, you can actually turn your character to see what it looks like, and you can also click out here to move it. Now there is a slim and a classic. I usually play classic. There is a Steve. You can classic this. Save. You can save it and then hit that. Browse and then you open this up and you can change back to your original Steve skin. Now, I thought this was actually really useful for if you're ever a big YouTuber and you want to hide, you can just click that and click save. Now, I'm going to let this save just so I can be able to switch again. It will take a few moments in case your internet's really slow, plus it has to go through the process of changing your skin in-game. There we go, and it has saved. In the third little tab over here, you have your settings. Keep the launcher open while the game is running. You can do this, but in the new launcher, you can't have more than one uh, game open at once, which is a little disappointing because a lot of YouTubers like to do the views of them from far away and whatnot. Open output log when the game starts. I wouldn't turn this on, it's a waste of time. Privacy settings automatically ask Mojang when game crashes. Ask Mojang to collect usage data. Now this is your own personal stuff. You can change anything in here you want. Now in the fourth tab, this is what I wanted to get to. You have your enable snapshots here. It will give you this thing, historical versions. This is like alpha and beta. And then the advanced settings. You can go through here and change anything you want. Now if you add a new one, make sure it's whatever version you're going to play on. I'm going to play this on latest snapshot, and then when you click resolution, click this, change it to 1280 to 720, just so YouTube can have an easier time of doing this. Game directory, you can change this to whatever you want, I wouldn't change it. Executable files, you can change that. You can change this and log confirmation config and that's it so now you can download server if you needed to for like online stuff and that's pretty much it you can also in here change the little icon to what you want I'm gonna change it to gold for a snapshot I'm gonna name it I believe you can rename it I'm not quite sure you can also browse and change stuff in here uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like you can. There used to be a thing. And then once you're done, click save. What are you going to do? Ah, here you go. I forgot. I didn't see that. Change it. I'm going to do latest snapshot. There we go. Now click save. It has saved. I'm able to fetch server status. Doesn't really matter. Then once you go back to news, my internet just went out. 
you have all your stuff here. Uh, I already had one in here. You can always take them out if you want and do this. And you can delete it and or pretty much anything you want. I would change this to all the stuff you are doing. And you are able to change the resolution for each version you are playing on. So that's handy dandy. So if you guys did enjoy today's little tutorial, thank you for staying sticking around. This has been the best way to game. See you guys next time. Bye guys.